Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Virgos, and this is gonna be for the 18th through the 23rd of September. I do know <laughs> yesterday is missing, but I have to listen to my body sometimes. So, here we go. I'll be using my Affirmatus Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using the classic tarot. So let's see what messages we have for you, Virgo. So Virgo, this is for you. The Ten of Cups, Happy Family, the Three of Cups, Celebration, the High Priestess, you started using your intuition, the Knight of Pentacles, you got a routine down, the Two of Wands, waiting for something, preparing, choosing, Choices, the hanged man, stagnant, can't make up your mind about something maybe. The temperance card, needing balance and moderation in your environment, or maybe some patience. The hermit, you're gonna go within and find the answers. And the page of pentacles, manifesting. You need to write down things. So let's see. Cards don't look too bad. Let's clarify. On top of the Ten of Cups, we have the world, we have the moon, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> There was something that brought happiness to the family. It might have been some money or finances that you didn't expect that, that came in. Um, I don't, you really weren't expecting it. Uh, something came to completion, but it was successful. So whatever it was, I guess you didn't expect the money to come in and it surprised you and it came in. It made happiness, the Ten of Cups. So you got the world, the moon, and the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the three. The Three of Cups here. On top of the Three of Cups, we have the Five of Swords. The Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. So whatever there was, there was some kind of conflict. I don't know if this conflict was within you. Because none of the other cards here look negative. I mean, you're making some preparations. I got the Three of Wands. I got the Five of Swords. Now, it could be in inward conflict. Maybe you have some kind of opportunity where a job is concerned or where money is concerned that's going to move you away from your family. So maybe you have a little conflict going on. Now, this is past energy. But there's some kind of conflict going on within you. Because things look good. I got the Three of Wands. I got the Six of Wands, which is about success. You know? The five of wands, the three of wands, and the six of wands over the three of cups. Maybe there was some kind of a little argument. Because I got the four of the four of wands over here. The knight of pentacles. And the seven of swords. So there was a celebration. The Knight of Pentacles says, take a methodical approach and you will achieve your dreams. The 
then you got the seven of swords here and that's like about that's like betrayal but in this sense here i think this is like just telling you to just be aware use your intuition because we got the high priestess down here so this is the four of wands the page of the knight of pentacles and the seven of swords here so just be on the lookout use your intuition whatever it is that you're going to do and we have the empress the six of cups and the five of wands above the knight of pentacles there is abundance there's something coming towards you you're working very hard I got the Empress. It's about abundance. I got something from the past. Benjamin just now. He, you know, he knocks like he's my owner. <laughs> so we got the Empress. It's about abundance. We have the Six of Cups. This might be something that came in from the past. I mean, in the past here, I do see that you came into some money here. We got the Ten of Pentacles. But it caused some kind of conflict. And I really don't understand what the conflict is. So we'll keep going. So we got the Empress, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. And on top of the Two of Wands, it showed the paths. You have two paths you can choose. You have the Eight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Cups. So you got yourself tied up in some kind of bind. Not sure what it is, but there is luck on your side. And I think you're going to be able to get yourself out of this situation. Because I got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups above this. So you have a choice. You got yourself a little tied up, but you do have choices, okay? So just pay attention. Be aware. Just be alert. So you have this, the Eight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Cups. Then we have the Hangman. top of the hangman we have the ten of swords we have the three of swords and we have the five of cups whatever has you stagnant it has something to do with a broken heart or something ended for you and you accepted it you accepted whatever ended I have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Cups, which is about acceptance. So this stagnant feeling you're feeling here, it will, um, it will go away. You're going to be able to make your decision because you're going to accept your loss. Whatever loss it was, you will accept it. I have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Then we have the Temperance card here. Now, which could be talking about balance and patience or finding balance in your life. So there's a change coming and you have to make a decision, okay? The decision is going to be a difficult decision, but you are the only one that can make the decision. I got the two of swords, which is about decisions. I got the death card, which is about endings. Not, you know, it's not necessarily bad, but whatever you decide will bring changes. So it's going to bring a change. So the death card signifies endings, meaning change. You're shedding the old stuff, okay? And then you got the four cups here. You're deep in med uh, meditation and you're thinking. Just be patient with yourself. Go ahead and make your decision. You're gonna probably have to go within. You got the two of swords, the death card, and the four of cups here. We got the hermit <clears throat> on top of the hermit we have the six of pentacles we have the three of pentacles and we have the queen of wands now the six of pentacles is talking about balance being generous giving and receiving you know it's working both ways you have achieved your balance 
Um, there's some kind, something being built for you. It might have something to do with a job. It's about teamwork and collaboration, the three of pentacles. And then we got the queen of wands. This is about you finding your confidence and your courage to make the decisions that you need to make. Or this could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Leo, uh, Sagittarius, or an Aries. And maybe this energy brings some type of balance to you, to you. But I have a feeling you found your courage. So we got the six of pentacles, the three of pentacles, and the queen of wands over the hermit. You're going to go within and you're going to figure out things. You're going to figure things out. On top of the page of pentacles, you have the queen of swords. You got the seven of... Wands and the Judgment card. The Queen of Swords could be an energy. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. If that's not the case, um, the card says your clear communication allows you to express what's best for everyone. And with saying that you are above your challenges, I got the Seven of Pentacles here and then the Judgment card. The Judgment card is about going within and doing some self-evaluation or evaluations. Um, depending on the situation, you could be thinking, you know, go type loose sense where this past is concerned or this pain is concerned and the conflict. Go start visiting those places and tie things up. Once you do that, you know, you're going to stop feeling guilty and you're going to feel balanced. You're going to start feeling rejuvenated. You're going to start healing and truly letting go of things. So we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands and the Judgment card. Above the Page of Pentacles. Then we have the King of Swords here. Hmm. So this might be an energy here. King of Swords says you think things through from all perspectives. So whatever is going on, you need to think things through. And if this is, um, this or this may be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius in your environment. Um, whatever is going to be happening, I got the Knight of Swords, it's going to come. Um, it's going to bring um, a little shift in your environment. You're, you're going to succeed, okay? You just need to keep going, no matter what. Just keep your eye on the prize and just keep going. Don't stop. The King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. You're driven to succeed. You're strong and full of energy, ready to take on the world. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. Thank you. Bye.